Hey guys, this is Mike here from Ball and Bowers, and I just wanted to show you guys um, this uh, lockup right here. And well, I wouldn't say he's completely locked up right now, but he's sure attempting it. He's courting her right now and attempting to lock up. And this is my last pairing of the year, guys. And this is um, my male Nicaraguan. There's his head right there. That's his head. And his body is on top right there. His tail is on top. So this is my male Nicaraguan het type 2 annery. And the female uh, Nicaraguan, who's the bigger tail on the bottom, who is possible het type 2 annery. And as you see, guys, he's um, attempting to lock up with her right now. He's got... Uh, his tail tightly wrapped around, he's got his body around her, he's spur tickling her. So uh, yeah guys, as you see, she's not trying to have it right now either. But hopefully he'll, um, I just put him in there today, I just paired them up today. And um, I gave him 72 hours of rest, he got a 3 days of rest. And I tried to feed him a rat but he wasn't having it. He did eat a small rat and a large rat. Um, probably about 15 days ago now maybe 16 or 17 so gonna leave him in there for you know a few days um, on and off and I'll try to feed him again probably next week and um, if he doesn't eat next week I will probably maybe put him back in for another week on and off and then I will take him out until he eats completely because we do need him to eat. So if you're breeding boas, guys, don't forget you don't want to um, run your males to the point where they're going to, you know, they can breed themselves to death, guys. So you want to make sure that you give your male rest every few days and that you offer food um, on a normal basis just like you normally would so that if he does, you know, want to eat, he can eat as he normally would. So just always offer food, guys. I offer him uh, food usually every two weeks. Right now I'm offering it to him like once a week where, um, you know, he hasn't eaten in uh, over two weeks. I tried to feed him, like I said, a few days ago. His normally bi-weekly feeding, but like I said, he wasn't having it. it did, he did eat a big meal before then, so maybe he's just not hungry, but I think he's just too into breeding right now. And he just doesn't want to eat, so, but I'm comfortable with him going a few more weeks with no food. I mean, technically, he'd be okay where he did eat a big meal a couple weeks ago. He could go probably, you know, another four weeks, six weeks with no food easily and breed and be fine. And, um, but I won't let him go more than another three weeks with uh, breeding and with no eating and before I'd separate him completely until he eats for us. So, uh, but either way, that gives him, even if he is stubborn for me, he's still going to get, um, almost a good month in here with her and hopefully he will take at least something for us even a small rat would suffice me at this point just so i know he has something in him so uh give him a little bit of energy for this breed right here which is his last pairing of the year and i saved the best for last guys 100 percent nicaraguan to 100 percent nicaraguan and um we're hoping for some uh, beautiful type 2 annery nicaraguan dwarfs guys and uh as you see, he's really working there, guys. And I'm so excited about this pairing, guys. I really am. Um, Nicaraguan dwarfs are my favorite boa out of everything. And uh, I'm really, really happy about this pairing this year. I'm really looking forward to producing some 100% locality um, Nicaraguan boas, guys. Just some beautiful 100% is that's, that's my goal this year is to... Um, get these guys to produce which would be just truly truly amazing guys and as you see the colors on these boas are just spectacular the blacks and the just the browns and just the smokiness color in the tail and and look how long that male's tail is right there and it's amazing how long that tail is right there i mean super super long um, great long tail thick strong great for breeding he has huge spurs for courting and spur uh, excuse me guys spur tickling yeah so um, either way guys just a beautiful beautiful pairing and um, hopefully um, with with any luck we're gonna get a uh, nice um, litter of 100% Nicaraguans this year which guys would if I could only hit one out of the five pairings, honestly, I'd probably have to pick this one right here because, like I said, Nicaraguans are my favorite. 
but I just wanted to share this with you guys and show you that uh, the last pairing of the season is going good and just he's been with her now for about three hours it took him to start working her. it took him about two and a half hours because he's been going now for about 30 minutes so two and a half hours after going in there he's uh, already working her guys so it's a really really great sign and I'll keep you guys updated on this pairing and keep you guys updated when he gets a full lock on there and um, we'll keep you guys updated throughout the season like I said don't forget to subscribe pound the like button and uh, enter the free boa giveaway guys we're giving away a free boa from every single litter we produce so without any luck guys we'll be giving away hopefully five free boas this year if, uh, probably probably won't be doing five I doubt I'll get five out of five but it would be nice so but who knows guys we could be giving away two boas out of each litter we don't know you know, we'll see um, how the letters are when they come out, you know, how many we get, how nice the babies are, what we get, and you know what we want to do, guys. So I might be surprising two, be two people with a baby, so you never know. But um, until next time, this is Mike from Ball and Boas saying peace.